Hello. Hello. Welcome back to What, what the, the Deaf podcast. So recently we just posted on our Instagram story and reached out to our audience to see if there was any funny questions they might have for us to answer. Really some what the deaf questions. We got a lot of submissions from you guys. And if you're curious about us, follow us on Instagram at what the deaf to keep updated with all the fun things that are going on. So really there's no plan for this, no order. We will be reading all your questions and we'll answer them. Yeah, we'll go back and forth. Ready for the first question? Always. <laughs> what is the most embarrassing thing that's happened to us? Hmm. <laughs> you know, we don't get embarrassed very easily. <laughs> no, not at all. Really? It happens too much to the point where we can't get embarrassed anymore, especially with each other or with other people. But... uh I, no, go ahead. <laughs> Your first visit to Nebraska. You know, California is clearly a big city. And then you go to the middle of nowhere. And I remember when you first landed, I came and picked you up. And you said, I don't see any cows yet. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you just wait. Seriously, just wait. But I think the most embarrassing moment for you would have to be the camping trip that we went on in Nebraska. Oh, gosh. (laughs) We had a tent outside and a bonfire. And you said, hey, I've never seen a shooting star before. And I'm like, what? Okay, you're in Nebraska in the middle of nowhere, out in the country. We're going to be able to see them so easily. Just wait. Later that night, we had that bonfire. And we were all sitting around the fire. And we were having conversations and good discussions. And Sarah was just so disconnected in her own little world, sitting in her lawn chair, staring at the sky. I mean, hours. I was committed to find myself a shooting star. You were very committed. I mean, you were just in your zone for a while. And then all of a sudden, she sits up and slaps me and said, Carly, I found a shooting star. Look. (laughs) And I'm like... And it was just a small little flashing light in the sky. And I'm like, Sarah, that's an airplane. (laughs) I literally thought it was such a beautiful flashing light shooting star. I didn't know any better. And not there too, because I've been staring at this guy for so long. And you just took one look and you found one. And I was like, where? (laughs) And, and, And I finally found a shooting star eventually, but it took a while. And I found it after that airplane flashing light thing. But... Your most embarrassing story would have to be the most recent one when we were working out at the gym. Oh, no. She joined me and another really good friend of ours. And we do a very CrossFit kind of OPEX style training where we do a lot of Olympic lifting. And Carly's good at that. But she thinks she's too good for a thing called the hook grip, which is when you do like a clean or a snatch with a barbell. You tend to hold onto the bar, wrap your fingers around your thumb to better grip the bar. So Carly was like, eh, I don't have to do that. Because first of all, when I tried it for the first time, it hurt. It gave me blisters all over my thumb. You have to build up to it. (laughs) Okay. But anyway, she thought it was no big deal. So she did a regular grip and she was lifting some pretty heavy weight, a lot of weight on her. So she started her clean and literally the barbell went out of her hand and almost hit the mirror, almost broke the mirror. Almost. And almost. But we both looked at her and she was like, oh, and just smiled at us. And we were like, <laughs> and the first thing she said was hook grip, hook grip, hook grip. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and from now, so from on, now on, she is right. traumatized and does a hook grip from now on. <laughs> so I think that was the most embarrassing, not really embarrassing, but funny for me. <laughs> I think. The word embarrassing shouldn't even exist. I mean, embarrassing moments are what make your life fun. (laughs) I agree. What's the point of being boring when you can just walk into a wall or slip and fall or just do things like that? Oh, amen, sister. Next question. What is the funniest misinterpretation between the two of us? Between us? (laughs) Between the two of us. Hmm. Hmm. Do you remember when? Do you remember when we met that guy in San Diego on the Fourth of July? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it was a misinterpretation, but they were both so overwhelmed with the fact that you were telling me everything that they were saying 
You would just interpret. I was the interpreter of interpreting conversation. <laughs> and the two guys would be like, can you stop talking? Because she's telling her what, what I'm saying. Can you please, can you please stop interpreting? Are you interpreting what I'm, are you telling? <laughs> hey, I told you, see, stop interpreting. So you stop talking. You stop interpreting. And before they realized we were interpreting everything, I overheard one of the guys saying, hey, that blonde girl's really hot. So I was like, hey, Carly, he said you're really hot. <laughs> and he was like, wait, you're what? And I responded, thanks. And he was like, uh, uh, <laughs> how did you know? I thought you were deaf. <laughs> Come on. What the deaf? <laughs> what the deaf? Literally. But I do have a more funny story. It's a misinterpretation that happened. It wasn't between us. Well, ish. <laughs> so Sarah was in a play and this play was a pretty serious, you know, pretty difficult, heartfelt yeah. topic. It was about the Holocaust. And oh yeah, it was. Yeah. And I was so excited to watch Sarah play her role. And when I got there, there was an interpreter there. It was a student interpreter, which I really appreciated the time that they were investing in this play. <laughs> <laughs> and it just happened that this particular scene where Sarah was talking about dolls and her role. So it took, okay. So Sarah was a little girl in her role who was evicted out of her house and she had to leave immediately. Well, this little girl wanted to bring all three of her dolls. I mean, she really loved them. <laughs> so that's what she was expressing. But the interpreter accidentally, instead of signing dolls, she signed dicks. Uh. So you can only imagine I'm sitting in the audience watching my best friend talking she's saying dolls but the interpreter signed dicks so she's like oh no i can't just pick one dick i want to bring all three dicks home with me oh no i okay in that moment during the play it was serious it was sad and heartfelt and i'm the only one in the audience that could not stop laughing i was just was like, oh my God, Carly, stop. Don't laugh. Don't do it. Don't do it. And everybody next to me down the road were like looking at me like, wait, did I miss it? What's so funny? I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, nothing's funny. Nothing. No, don't look at me. <laughs> did you tell the interpreter after? No, but I wish I did. But we just left right after that. And I'm like, Sarah, you cannot even imagine what just happened to me during this play. Everybody thought I was an idiot for laughing during this <laughs> tragic moment. And I'm like, okay, you've got to let me explain. You wanted to bring three dicks home with you. Like, <laughs> Oh, poor interpreter. Oh, oh, that's awful. <laughs> I hope that interpreter will learn now the difference between signing dolls and dicks. <laughs> so funny. It was so funny. <laughs> okay. I don't know how we're going to beat that one. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's a good question. Okay. What is the one thing you like about yourself? Hmm. My sarcasm? Because <laughs> it can be like uh, pretty dry. Kind of like the one you like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Agreed. You have a good personality that's very sarcastic and sassy. <laughs> For me, I think my favorite thing about myself is I can laugh at myself. I do not take life too seriously. The best. <laughs> I never get really awkward about things or embarrassed. And I'm a little bit bubbly too. No, I have a very bubbly personality, actually, and I like that. You know how sometimes you have that, like, awkward elevator moment where you're standing in the elevator and another person gets on, you look at each other, and you're like, hey, hi, and it gets super awkward. <laughs> Sarah, nope, my perfect other half walks in and goes, girl, love your shoes. You look hot today. Yes, queen. I always, <laughs> I'm like, uh -uh. I always <laughs> say it's only awkward if you make, you it, make awkward. it awkward. Right, right. Like, honey. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So next question. Okay. This is a literal what the deaf question. Well, not really a question, but hashtag what the deaf problem. Have you ever left something running and forgot about it because you couldn't hear it? Oh, everything. <laughs> everything from the car to the sink to the garbage disposal. I mean, everything. Literally. <laughs> I literally one time. I wanted to take a bath and I was running the water and I decided to do some other things and I forgot about my bath and it was filling up with water. And I walked into my room and I looked down. And I'm like, why is it so wet? Became a water puddle. <gasps> I forgot the water and it was literally like an ocean. I'm like, no. And it was just running and I had no idea. So funny thing about me is when I 
bought my house, my first home in Nebraska. First night I slept in my own house. I was by myself. I'm like, yes, queen, finally. The next morning I realized I let the water running. So I'm like, great. My first water bill is going to be really high. I don't know what next month's going to look like, but that first month is going to be extremely high. So whatever. All right, let's start with the bang for my house. And then the day that I sold my house, like literally sold it, I accidentally left the water running in the exact same sink. You like your water. (laughs) Apparently. I don't know what the universe is trying to tell me. Maybe I'm doing something right. (laughs) Oh, my favorite thing that happened was when you came over to my house. (laughs) That is the best one. (laughs) Oh, Carly wanted to like file her foot. I don't know why she was just filing her foot (laughs) with a thing and she was banging on the trash can. And I thought it sounded like someone knocking at the door. So I like (laughs) burned it up and ran to the door and nobody was there. And she just looked in the air and she's like, did you bang that on the trash can? I'm like, yeah, (laughs) well that explains it. I'm like, Oh, (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) And I, again, some sounds sound similar. So apparently you banging on the trash can sounds the same as the person knocking on the door. You were so excited <laughs> thinking your Amazon package is here. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the death. What the death. <laughs> okay. Oh, one person said, love your podcast. What is the most absurd question we've been asked on this podcast? Do deaf people have emotions? <laughs> like yeah yeah I mean (laughs) yeah yeah. and or like do deaf people wear watches that was one or (laughs) do your hands get tired from signing so much that was an interesting question but um one question that was absolutely mind-blowing do you remember that when that guy asked if you have that feeling of knowing if somebody was in your house because when your hearing senses are gone, your other senses are heightened. And I'm like, oh. so the next day I'm sitting in the house. I'm like, hmm, do I know if Sarah's in this house or not? Am I a magician? Nope, definitely not. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> well, for me, I get scared too easily. I do not sense people at all. That's when I get scared the most. It's actually, no, you. My mom, my mom is the best person to scare. Anytime I get home, I'm like, yes, where's mom? Is she in the office? Okay, perfect. You don't even have to put in any effort to scare her. You just show up and say, hey, mom. And she'd be like, ah, why didn't you tell me you were here? I'm like, uh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so that just shows that not all deaf people have that feeling. I don't. And I've had people standing behind me, not even trying to scare me or anything. And I turn around and I'm like, oh, it freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> deaf problems. Literally death problem. But <laughs> other random absurd questions. I did have one stranger ask me, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with your personality? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. But yeah. I think I grew up with so many absurd questions to where I'm like, wait, what's an absurd question? Because I'm just so used to those kind of questions. Right. But it makes it fun and interesting. What people think <laughs> are, oh, deaf jokes. Tell a deaf joke. A deaf joke? <laughs> uh-huh. Um, but any joke you tell is actually a deaf joke because you're deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I grew up with deaf jokes to where I'm like, okay, I don't know if this is supposed to be funny or not. Like a timber tree. You know, where they explain about this lumberjack that chops a tree three times and then yells out timber and then the tree falls down. So then he goes to the next tree and chops three times and yells timber and then that tree falls down. And then the next tree, he chops three times and yells timber, timber, timber. Oh, it was a deaf tree. I'm like, really? (laughs) I guess it was funny. No, it's only funny because you made it funny. <laughs> <laughs> but one of my other favorite jokes that you tell is the one that's about the girlfriend and the boyfriend joke. Oh, yeah. So the boyfriend gets so excited that he's going over to his deaf girlfriend's house. So he drives over there and he gets there and realizes that she lives in a apartment complex where there's tons of different apartments. And how does he know which one his girlfriend lives in? So he decides to honk his horn. 
And he watches all these lights turn on until the last room that didn't turn on their light. Clearly that's where the deaf girlfriend lives. And that's how he found his girlfriend. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> again, deaf jokes can be cheesy. But also hearing jokes are cheesy too. It's like, knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. <laughs> Banana who? Banana who? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? True. Orange. Glad you didn't say banana. Wait, I don't know. I said awful. <laughs> I don't even remember it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Everything to us is funny. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. Next. Oh man. <laughs> what is the most weirdest place we've ever traveled? Hmm. Huh. We travel a lot, but the most weirdest place, hmm. Oh, I don't know. Um, I think we, every year, our tradition is to go to Mexico, and we did go to one resort in Mexico called the Hard Rock, and we decided we wanted to venture out, and we left the resort, and whew, we went to this most random, deserted place, except it had one casino and a bunch of weird people and we did not feel safe. So decided to walk back to the Hard Rock and enjoy our time there. That's one of the things about us. Our traveling styles are very different. <laughs> I love to go like on backpacking trips. No. This girl backpacked for how many weeks? Was it four or five weeks in Central America by herself for the most part of the trip? Like... <laughs> I can't even do that. I need my bed and a room and a hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have a couple of backpacking trips that I went on. Um, some solo, some with my friends, but I've actually never gone with her. And I'm like, mm -mm. come on. I want to go backpacking with you. But mm -mm. no, bugs are her nemesis. Mm -hmm. So they don't really get along. <laughs> uh, mosquitoes, especially, they like me too much. I've had one summer in California where I had so many bugs, I looked like a cheetah. Because the mosquitoes like me too much. Uh-uh. Can't handle it. That's another funny moment with you. Bugs. <laughs> We're going back <laughs> to the first question. <laughs> okay. So in Nebraska, again, on our camping trip, at night, we were getting ready to go to bed. And we got into our tent. And she's got her phone and turned on her flashlight. Oh, no, 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 wait. Yeah, she had her flashlight on and realized that there was a bug in the tent. So she's like flinging her camera all around, shining it everywhere. And I'm like, Sarah, stop. Turn off that light. Like, Sarah, light. Okay, Sarah, bugs are attracted to light to the point where she freaked out and threw her phone <laughs> at the bugs. And I'm like, <laughs> I really don't like bugs because I'm a California girl born and raised Valley girl. I am not a big fan of bugs, but I'm learning throughout my 10 years of friendship with you. She is a very adventurous girl. But going back to the strangest place that we've ever traveled together. Oh, rooftop bar house place. That we thought was a castle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. There was like two guys that told us that they would treat us wonderfully and that they would take us to the top of the castle. And we're like, a castle? And they're like, yeah, we live in a castle. I'm like, huh, a castle. Well, okay, let's check it out. Why not? And we got there and no, it was a normal house with a hot tub on the roof. <laughs> That's it. And I'm like, this isn't a castle. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and then we left. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the most weirdest place we visited. Oh, yeah. But we've also had some amazing places that we visited. Iceland was one. Yeah. Oh, we went to Iceland and so it was good. one of my favorite places. If you ever have a chance to go, I highly recommend it. Oh, love that place. Okay. I think we have one more question we're going to answer. <laughs> What's your biggest pet peeve? about guys or dating men hmm. hmm when they don't understand my sarcasm when they don't let me finish my food <laughs> <laughs> if you watched our dating episode you would totally, totally get, get it why. <laughs> pet peeve i don't know just not understanding my sarcasm because what's the point <laughs> <laughs> exactly or yeah <laughs> you go back to our dating episode and find out about our dating life and our pet peeves <laughs> hmm. i'm trying to think of another 
funny what the deaf moment that I could think of. Oh, I got out of a ticket from a cop because he, first of all, I couldn't understand him. And then he thought I was having a stroke because I have a crooked smile and wanted to take me to the hospital. And I'm like, no, this is just how my face is. But thank you. And he's like, oh, okay. I'm not going to give you a ticket. I'm like, great. Oh, he had to have felt like shit. I bet he felt so bad. Yep. (laughs) Yes. I remember one of my coworkers who learned how to sign. And I mean, she was fantastic. She learned how to sign so fast, but we hadn't really gotten to that, like that party environment together. And yeah. So we had gone out and we were walking in the street and we realized that I hadn't really taught her like deaf cues. (laughs) You know how sometimes when you're walking in the street, we're looking at each other and a person will kind of keep looking ahead of themselves just to know their space, just so that they don't run into anybody, let alone a pole. So I thought I had given her the the deaf cue to where I would, you know, walk over to the side. She is supposed to follow me. Nope. She kept walking and walked straight into a parking meter. (laughs) And so I'm like, uh, sorry. And the next day she literally had a purple bruise on her chest (gasps) from where she hid that. And I'm like, oh, welcome to the deaf community. (laughs) Uh, You can relate with that bruise with your cleans. (laughs) That's not nice. (laughs) 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 <laughs> oh being good friends we understand the pain <laughs> yeah i understand <laughs> oh, what the deaf what the deaf if you want to submit any more questions or you're just curious about things you can email us at qu- uh, oh, man <laughs> <laughs> here's your embarrassing moment <laughs> email us at qu- oh my oh my <laughs> questions at what the deaf.com <laughs> and follow us on instagram at what the deaf yay <laughs> yay we got it right <laughs> we'll see you next week see you next week bye guys